Applications of Bayard Savard's law. Right, second topic. Magnetic field induction magnetic field induction right due to due to magnetic field induction at a axial point at a axial point at an axial point due to current carrying circular coil Now, current carrying circular coil, current carrying circular coil, let us consider this is the current carrying circular coil, this is the current carrying circular coil, right. Now, what is the center? This is the center. What is the axis of the coil? this is the axis of the coil right what is the radius of the coil right capital R is the radius of the coil now what is the current passing I is the current passing right the total number of turns is n right at a particular point P I want to calculate magnetic field induction let us consider what to say x now now let us consider a circular coil right total number of turns total number of turns right total number of turns is that is n radius of the coil radius of the coil is equals to small r current passing through the coil current passing through the coil current passing through the coil is equals to i now calculate the magnetic field induction that is at the point p calculate the magnetic field induction at the point P. Now let us consider. Right, what is Bayard Savart's law? Right, Bayard Savart law. Bayard Savart law. What is Bayard Savart's law? B is equal to integration of mu naught by 4 pi into I dl sin theta by r square this is called first equation right now here this is called current carrying circular coil this is the current carrying circular coil now this is called current element this is called current element now this is the current element what to say dl dl bar this current element is at a distance of small r right small r now due to the small element due to the small element due to the small element right due to the small element what is the magnetic field induction that is called db right magnetic field induction is db similarly exactly opposite side exactly opposite side there is a another small element db which is again at a distance of small r right 
due to the small element what is the magnetic field induction magnetic field induction is also dv by choosing this is a center now this is vertical this is the vertical now this is called axial line of the coil what to say this is imaginary line perpendicular to the coil now here in this case if this is the angle phi if this is the angle phi no doubt this will be is equals to what to say phi right here is also what to say this is d phi now this is the phi now this is also phi now here is also what to say that is phi right with respect to this one this is phi now it is resolved db is resolved into two components what to say db cos phi now this is called what to say db sin phi now here is db cos phi db cos phi now this is also db sin phi now let us consider a current carrying circular coil right this is called axis of the current carrying circular coil from the center at a distance of x there is a point p at that point p you want to calculate the total magnetic field induction for that one you want to take a sample you want to take a small current element you want to take a right length element now this is called length element through which the current is passing therefore it is called current element now due to this current element due to this current element what is the magnetic field induction the magnetic field induction is represented by what to say d phi now here here in this case magnetic field induction is represented by that is d phi here is also phi now now here in this case as this current element this current element this length element is at a distance of r from the point p exactly opposite side there is a again there is a current element that current element is at a distance of r from the point p now this vector radius r is making an, an angle phi this is also making an angle phi if it is phi then this is also phi if it is phi then this is also what to say phi okay now now here in this case now the db this is the db right the db is resolved into two components db cos phi and next one db sin phi next db here is also db this db is also resolved into two components db cos phi and db sin phi now here in this case right along the axial line along the axial line db sin phi along the axial line db sin phi right perpendicular to the axial line what is the perpendicular this is the perpendicular now the component of db perpendicular to the axial line is db cos phi the component of db perpendicular to the axial line is db cos phi now perpendicular to the axial line that is the components of that is db are both are and both are equal and opposite both are equal and opposite hence perpendicular to the axial line whatever the magnetic field components both are cancels therefore now along the axial line 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 therefore b is equals to what to say integration of db sin phi integration of db sin phi now at the point p magnetic field induction db db cos phi db sin phi with respect to this db db sin phi db cos phi now this is called axial line this is called perpendicular to the axial line perpendicular to the axial line the magnetic field intensity components are equal and opposite hence they will cancel each other along the axial line only they will be summed up therefore the summed up is taking place in the right in according to the mathematics integration b is equals to integration of db that is sin phi db what to say sin phi 
now this is called what to say second equation right now here in this case that is b is equals to what to say integration of db is equals to that is integration of db is equals to that is this is called b b is equals to integration of mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square what is db db is equals to this much therefore mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin theta by r square into what to say sin phi here angle theta is there angle phi is there now what is the angle phi this is the angle phi this is the angle phi what is the theta in the by its words law angle between angle between current element angle between current element angle between the current element to the line joining between the current element to the the point where the magnetic field induction is calculated therefore automatically see therefore this is called what to say current carrying circular coil what to say this is called length element this is called length element now the line joining between these two this is right this is radially opposite then this angle is 90 degrees where the theta is equals to 90 degrees here that is theta is equals to what to say 90 degrees therefore b is equals to what to say mu naught by 4 pi mu naught by 4 pi into i dl what to say sin 90 sin 90 by r square into what to say sin phi now here is equals to that is mu naught by 4 pi mu naught by 4 pi i dl sin 90 is equals to 1 sin phi by r square whole integration therefore b is equals to we can calculate mu naught i by 4 pi it is getting common mu naught i by that is 4 pi it is getting common integration of dl by r square into sin phi right already we know that right from this one from this triangle this is the triangle what is the sin phi right sin phi that is sin phi is equals to sin phi is equals to opposite side by what to say hypotenuse that is opposite side is capital R by hypotenuse is what to say small r right therefore that is capital R by now small r is equals to small r is equals to capital R plus that is x square therefore this is called perpendicular triangle by the perpendicular triangle r square is equals to r square is equals to right a capital r square plus x square therefore capital r square plus x square therefore r is equals to square root of capital r square plus x square therefore capital r by small r capital r is there small r is equals to what to say that is capital r square plus x square next one integration of dl integration of dl is equals to no doubt 2 pi r if the coil has a single turn integration of dl is equals to 2 pi r if the coil has n turns integration of dl is equals to 2 pi r into n therefore now b is equals to mu naught i by 4 pi into integration of right dl as it is same by r square what is r square r square is equals to right capital r square plus x square into sin phi sin phi is equals to what to say that is r by square root of r square plus x square therefore b is equals to mu naught i by 4 pi 4 pi now now here is also r is getting common constant now here r square plus x square whole to the power of 1 by 2 it is called 1 by 2 here there is a 1 or otherwise once again i will write therefore r square plus x square 1 now r square plus x square that is r square plus x square whole to the power of 1 by 2 integration of dl therefore now here b is equals to what is the formula that is mu naught i by 4 pi 4 pi that is into r is there r is there 
r square plus x square plus r square plus x square whole to the power of 1 by 2. Therefore, r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 into integration of dl. Integration of dl is equal to 2 pi r n that is 2 pi r into n. Therefore, sufficient quantities may cancel pi pi gets cancelled. Therefore, now 2 1 ja, 2 2 ja gets cancelled. Therefore, what to say magnetic field induction is equal to that is mu naught that is i number of turns n that is r into r that is r square divided by only 2 is there 2 into r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2. Therefore, what is the magnetic field induction due to the right the magnetic field induction due to the current carrying circular coil the magnetic field induction due to the current carrying circular coil is given by b is equals to mu naught i n r square by 2 into r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 this is the magnetic field